Oh, got a bit of a wobble. We're back. So I posted this in a few Facebook groups, um, probably about three weeks ago now. Um, let me turn it on. This is what we're going to be making today. See if I can zoom in a bit. It's my kind of like a jungle cave. Um, and it's done with, I've, I, I did this with UV resin. You could do it standard resin, but you'd need to do it in um, a few stages. But I've just used normal, let me get my tweezers in there, normal sand there. I've coloured the UV resin with blue alcohol ink and then I've added the kind of swirly waves with white alcohol ink and I've UV glued. This is um, moss. I found it in the garden, fallen off the roof. Um, you could use other things, but this is all I could find that kind of resembles a little bit of a kind of vines, but it kind of sweeps around and the light is in the back. So I'll go through it all step by step um, and explain how I made it. Let me just put that aside. Now, I bought, zoom out a little bit. These, I've got these on eBay and they're called uh, slipper limpet seashells they come in different let me just adjust sorry they come in different shapes and sizes but they've always got that kind of part there so it kind of takes it round the back um, I don't know what you call it but they some of them sit nicely kind of have to find the right one that sits the way we want it to sit um, but if not you can always put a dab of UV glue on the back uh, just to sit it up so I'm going to pick the best one out of all of these and we will continue right so I found the one that I want to use it's a bit smaller than the the one that I've made so we'll see how it goes but before I carry on I just want to thank everyone for their support new subs uh, returning subs um, those that have bought me a coffee um, if you do decide you want to buy me a coffee the link is in my description um, and everything that I use I'll also put in the description as I go forward. Right, so today we're going to be using the Let's Resin UV. Like I said, you could do this in stages with regular resin. And we're just going to be using a little stirring cup and some alcohol inks. I'll probably go with the sapphire. No, I won't go with the sapphire blue. I'll go with... I think the sky blue if I've got any left. Let me see. No, I think I've used that one all up. We will go with a sapphire blue. And I mean you could use anything, any colours for this, as long as you get the, the colour right for the water and the waves. Let me just get my stirring stick. So the first step is to add the water. So we're just going to add some UV resin into this small pot, like so. And then we're just going to add a little bit of the blue, probably going to just put a dab on the stick because I don't want it to be too strong. We're just going to mix that in. So if you was to do this with regular resin, obviously this will be your first step once this is cured. We then go on with a smaller clear layer on top. It's not mixed in properly. Should only be a short tutorial this one. This is a really fun one to make. Then we're just going to pour this inside the shell and we want it to go around the back as well it's totally different to what I normally do it's probably a little bit darker than the one that I've made before this blue we kind of just want it to go around and up towards the front and then what we're gonna do is quickly give that just a blast to get rid of the bubbles and then with our UV torch, we're just going to cure this. 
I know what you're thinking. How are you going to cure it around the back? You can shine the torch through these shells and it will cure. It might take a little bit longer, but it will cure through the shell. So it's always good when you run out of storage for a tutorial. Like I said, if I can now hold this up, sorry for the wobble, I'm trying to zoom in. I can now hold the, the torch behind the shell and that will cure through the shell. So once we've got that initial first layer of blue, if you're using regular resin, just make sure it's propped up. You could use some blue tack, white tack, um, just to make sure it sort of stays level. And now after that, we need to just add a, a small layer of clear. So we're just gonna add some clear into our, actually we could just go straight in with it. Just kind of spread that on top of the blue. And then in this stirring cup, I'm just going to add a little bit of UV resin. And then to that, I'm just going to add a drop of, couple of drops of white and then just stir that in. A bit more. I'm just going to make sure that clear spread around it doesn't matter if it's come up a little bit at the front because that's going to have sand in so with this with a cocktail stick we're just going to add some kind of waves that go around the back you can see that and then towards the front I kind of want it to swoop around It really is a simple one to do guys and then we're just going to cure that with the torch so it's a bit tricky to keep focus it's such a small piece and kind of see how that's gone So, I mean, I'm only using a, a cheap, cheap torch off of um, Amazon, but again, I'll put the link in. It's really handy for small bits. It's lock my focus so it doesn't keep focusing on the torch. Right, so the next stage is adding some sand. And again, we're going to mix the sand in with some UV resin. So let's move this. It's so small, it's difficult working in such a small. We're just going to put some UV resin in here. And then add our sand. And again, the UV torch will cure the resin through this, I found. A little bit more. And then what we're gonna do is take our sand and just Sorry for the wobbling of the camera. So unprofessional of me. Again, I'm, I've kind of got the camera quite close to my work. 
Add a little bit more. That will do. And again, we just cure that sand in place. Cures really quick. Again, it's another reason why I like using UV, UV resin. For small, you know, quick, quick makes like this, you can just have an idea and then you can just go quickly and, uh, and just go and put that idea together and it's completed in such a short time. It's really good. So there we have so far, let me focus again. We've got the start of a cave. I'm just gonna clean out my pot. Again, you can follow me on TikTok. Um, I do post on there pretty much every day. I was gonna try shorts, but um, I need to kind of work out how how it works. Um, TikTok's a bit easier for me to to post and create on. All right, so now we have that. You could leave it like that. Um, you could decorate it how you want, really. But what I have here. It's just some moss from the garden. It's got some mud on the back. But we're just literally going to... There's my tweezers. We're going to pull off the good bits, the strands, and try and get rid of the mud. Because we don't want the mud in there. You see like these strands here? Just pull those off. Because these will become our vines, get rid of the mucky stuff. It's totally different to what I normally create, isn't it? But I don't want to stick with just one thing. I've been working on flowers recently as well, flower coasters. And they're coming along really well, so I should have a tutorial for that soon. So we're just going to break these, single them apart, make sure there's no lumps in there. Sorry again about the bad videography. So now we have that. Let's take you out of it. We're going to put this into our mixing pot. And we're going to add our UV resin. This is going to, probably going to be a little bit tricky for me to kind of film but you'll get the general idea of what I'm doing a bit more. I probably need to pause and get the right camera angle so I can continue in a moment. Right, let's get the perfect angle. Right, I think I'm ready. And then what we're gonna do is just take parts of it, parts of the moss, and we're gonna kind of stick it to the water shell. Some of it can dangle down to look like real vines, and then we cure as we go. Don't have to fully cure it, just enough to then add the next section. And what we want them to do is kind of drape down to give that kind of jungly vine effect.
a lot of people were asking in the groups how I put the light in. Obviously, I'm going to show you that in a moment. Once we get to that stage. Do is just keep adding more and then I'll cure it in a sec. And we've hit 20,000 subs, over 20,100 now I think. So I'm gonna try and work on some kind of, uh, like a giveaway. I did a, uh, I've been doing giveaways on TikTok. And the trouble is I've found is that some people will set up fake accounts. Yeah, people will set up fake accounts and then add my followers as friends and then send them a message with a link saying congratulations you've won. So I don't know how I'm going to do it on YouTube, but I will be working on it soon, just as a thank you to everyone. Just going to cure that where it is at the moment. Any sort of bits are sticking over the top, it doesn't matter, we can deal with those after. But I wanna I wanna try this on a much larger scale soon. I mean I live by a beach. Um but it's actually against the law to go and take shells from a beach. I know what everybody's thinking of, but who's gonna know? It's just I'd rather just do it properly. Not get fined for being caught taking shells, can you imagine? Resin artist found stealing shells from a beach. Chances of it happening are slim, but it only takes one of the haters. Just cure that in. Like I said, any sort of bits that are sticking up, we can deal with that after. So I think I'm gonna stop that with that there. Stop that with that there. <laughs> and I'm gonna add the light. So I've got my small hand drill. You could do this before, but I'm just gonna do it after. And obviously we want the light around the back of the cave. So just around the back, we're gonna start off with a small drill bit. And this can take some time, but these shells are quite soft. We're gonna try not to wobble the camera too much. Just start drilling. I mean, I would suggest probably doing this to begin with in case the shell cracks so you don't want to lose the work that you've just put in but I'm going to pause this and just show you what I do after I've got this one hole right so now I have my small hole as you can see I'm now going to change up to a slightly bigger bit and then we're just going to go through again you, you, if you've got a Dremel, I mean I've got one, but I didn't want the noise for the video. You could use that. Again, I'm going to pause, come back with the next bit. The final one. Right, so now we have our large hole ready for the light to go in. What I have is, you've probably, some of you have probably got these. 
uh, these LED small sets. And the good thing is you can cut them down. Now with the last one I put two lights in. This shell's smaller, so I'm just got, I've got the battery pack here. And I'm just going to follow it along to the first light and then I'm going to snip just here. See that? So it's just one light on that pack. You're probably thinking what you're going to do with the other lights. The same as you can cut them down, I can also add these onto other light sets. It's a little bit tricky, but I've got a soldering iron, and I, but that's, that's for another day. Right, so what we're going to do now is just pop this inside the back of the shell. He says, I think those two little prongs are stopping it from going in. I'm just going to give that a poke in to make sure it's fully in. And then once it's in, we're just going to use a bit of UV on the back and then quickly glue that in place. So we don't want it being tugged out. broken so we shall now see the finished product there we have it jungle cave theme shell jungle cave theme shell you know what I mean so yeah, you could do this any way you want. I know I've kind of rushed this and it's a little bit messy compared to my last one. Um, but yeah, it was just to give you the kind of idea and the, the process I went through to, to create them. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video again, give it a thumbs up. Um, thanks to those that have signed up for the membership. I think there's 10 in total so far. In fact, there's massive help towards my channel. The link is in the description if you do want to. It's, I think it's, it's £1.99 a month and you get your chat stickers, your chat, what are they called? Um, oh, you know what I mean anyway. So yeah, thanks to everyone uh, for all the support and I will see you soon, hopefully, with either a collaboration with Artes or a flower coaster. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon.